For modern day humanity, it can feel as though the search for eternal life is an everlasting quest. There have now been hundreds of sometimes high cost attempts in a bid to make it so that this life isn't all there is. Experiments and trials aiming to take us to immortality or to unlock evidence that there really is an afterlife waiting for us beyond this mortal realm. Now though, via one relatively simple idea, do we finally have what we've been looking for? This is Unveiled, and today we're taking a closer look at the quantum theory that seemingly proves you never die. Imagine, what if you knew you would never die? This is one of the most popular what-if scenarios, but it is not as simple as it seems. On one hand, eternal life offers limitless possibilities, but on the other hand, it raises the question of the purpose of existence. Today, we will focus on making immortality a reality. Quantum physics has been generating tremendous interest in the last decade, opening up a world of minute details and revolutionizing fields such as energy, computing, and medicine. Increased knowledge of quantum physics has fundamentally changed the way we think about life. The theory of biocentrism, proposed by American scientist Robert Lanza, challenges the commonly accepted idea that the universe created life. On the contrary, it argues that life is the creator of the universe. What we call consciousness has existed since the beginning, and over nearly 14 billion years, consciousness has passed through us humans. We are used to perceiving life, the universe, and everything else through the filter of our body processed by our brain. However, in this model, the brain and body work more like advanced modems, receiving and translating signals that in turn shape our individual life experiences. It is important to note that if the brain and body cease to function or are destroyed, the signals persist and do not disappear. These signals are stored and can potentially be redirected to another host. In this context, the signal is life that continues independently of our body. It is a form of life that is unfamiliar to us, but nevertheless, according to this theory, it is life. Robert Lance's ideas, first presented by him in the late 2000s, have sparked much debate. For some, biocentrism is a link between the philosophical concepts of life and death and the physical aspects of existence. Others see the theory as too abstract, lacking serious evidence for the true nature of consciousness. In subsequent discussions and interviews, Lanza pointed to the famous double-slit experiment as proof of biocentrism. Scientists have demonstrated that light and matter can exhibit the properties of either waves or particles, depending on what is observed behind them. The concept is that consciousness is the creator of the universe, not the other way around. Proponents of this idea also invoke the fine-tuning problem to find out why biocentrism makes sense. This problem suggests that the physical conditions in the universe are so finely tuned for life that our existence in such a perfectly customized universe is highly unlikely. However, within biocentrism, the fine-tuning problem is absent because consciousness naturally tends toward a reality that functions as design. This view leads to the notion of life after death, refuting the idea that death is the end as life and consciousness are no longer confined to our body and brain. Instead, they dissipate into the rest of the universe, becoming a unique form of energy in a universe of their own making. Biocentrism is sometimes criticized for the ambiguity of this aspect. However, it is important to note that attempts to derive consciousness or the soul beyond our physical existence are not new and can be traced back at least to René Descartes in the 17th century during the Enlightenment. In a broader sense, biocentrism suggests that even the fundamental concept of time is an outgrowth of consciousness in our bodies, providing a framework for understanding and measuring time. It argues that the arrow of time is a construct of our consciousness, not as some ultimate property of the universe. Robert Lanz's biocentrism is not the only idea of eternal life. The succinctly named model of quantum immortality is based on another fundamental concept of modern theoretical science, the multiverse. This idea originates from Hugh Everett's many worlds interpretation. According to this idea, 
Every choice or divergence creates a new branch of reality. These branches never intersect but exist in parallel, showing differences ranging from minor to major depending on the original reason for the separation. Science fiction authors have been greatly amused by this concept's plot potential, suggesting that significant events could hinge on such a trivial thing as a person's choice. However, the implications of the multiverse for life after death have intrigued real-world science as well. Quantum immortality suggests that within the multiverse, there must always be a branch in which a person survives by constantly moving through reality and living repeatedly rather than facing death. This concept can again be linked to key experiments, such as the double slit experiment, which suggests that all options are possible, they are not yet observable, and they do not reduce to a single outcome. While death remains a final event in any reality, even within the multiverse, it cannot be canceled or prevented. However, if one considers the multiverse, it is possible that in another layer of the model, in an alternate version of infinite realities, no specific death has occurred and life continues. The combination of biocentrism and quantum immortality raises intriguing questions. Could consciousness have created not only a universe, but also a multiverse? Could life move between branches of the multiverse even though physical bodies cannot? Can some form of consciousness or soul according to some definitions, persist after we are gone? If so, will we ever be able to understand or make sense of what is happening? In physical terms, death means the end of our body and brain. It may mean that we can never truly comprehend life again, unless our consciousness enters another person. That, however, is a topic for another conversation. What remains undeniable is that nothing is definitively settled. Recently, biocentrism has caused controversy, but it cannot claim to finally solve the mystery of life and death. Similarly, quantum immortality is more of a thought experiment than a concrete certainty. Once again, for modern humanity, the quest for eternal life appears to be endless. Despite the existence of profound unknowns, whether we find a purpose or explanation for life or not, we all have a life to lead, emotions to experience, roles to fulfill, and moments to cherish. While some monumental mysteries remain, until the fog of uncertainty lifts, we can focus on caring for each other, savoring joyous moments, and relishing the things that bring us happiness. We may contemplate our quantum existence, but in the end, life is what we make of it. And consider this. Our consciousness could have played a role in creating the universe, which is a remarkable thought, isn't it? What are your thoughts on this? Is there anything we overlooked? Please share in the comments. Be sure to explore other MindWorld videos, subscribe, and ring the bell for our latest content.